Coming to Northeastern from British Columbia, Crystal Poland quickly established herself as a dynamic player and teammate on and off the field. A three-time field hockey All-American and CAA Player of the Year in 2012, Poland led the Huskies to a pair of at-large NCAA tournament bids. The program's all-time leader in points and goals scored, Poland finished her senior season third in goals per game and fourth in points per game in the NCAA. There's just been so many tremendous athletes that have come through uh, throughout the sports. I mean, to have somebody with our program each year, there was no question when I saw her name pop up as a candidate that she was definitely the next one we had that was, that was very deserving. I think it's a testament to her commitment and talent and dedication and it's, you know, it's amazing that, that she can represent our program like that and, you know, is much deserving and, you know, we're super excited about it. It was surreal. I, I remember looking at my husband and, and tears just formed in my eyes out of nowhere. I worked so hard for our team and the dedication and sacrifice that I made moving from my small town on Vancouver Island, Canada. I was just overwhelmed with joy to be selected and joining such a prestigious group at Northeastern in the Athletics Hall of Fame was just, I was so proud. <laughs> What I know of Crystal is, you know, she's just one of our most decorated players that we've had come through the, the Northeastern Field Hockey Program. She set the standard as far as goal scoring and she came in and made an immediate impact and to have somebody with that amount of talent that could score goals, it's truly remarkable. She's certainly an elite athlete and one of our absolute best players overall, goal scorers especially. You know, her skills were outstanding, especially coming in as a freshman, and her scoring skills were outstanding. Yet at the same time, I would constantly see her talking to her teammates, supporting her teammates. I never got the feel that you know, she felt she was better than they were. She was mellow, she knew the right skill. It, it didn't look like uh, she put a lot of effort into it, but bang, it was, it was strong. It was, uh, I was afraid. I was afraid for the goal. I was afraid for anybody in her way. She had the knack for scoring. Uh, she had the knack for eliminations, the timing of how to beat people. And, and she could play defense. I mean, if she was running after you, you'd be scared. When I look at what kind of player she was, she was is equally a good person, a uh, good person to her teammates, coachable, someone that I could communicate with. And, and that's what I, I admire the most. First and foremost, I just loved playing field hockey and there was nothing better than stepping out onto the field. To be honest, you know, I was just lucky and was the last person to touch the ball before putting it in the net. And um, it really was a team effort. And from my freshman year until my senior year that I left, you know, our team was started out ranked 54th in the nation. And then by the end, we were ranked fourth. And that's the most rewarding thing I think about my collegiate experience was just being a part of a group that wanted to be better than yesterday and, and strive to win a championship and truly supported each other on and off the field. And I really missed those girls. They were they were fun to play with and just a great group. Kayla Baca and a shot pulling. Ooh. Goal, Huskies. Our team of 2012 faced a lot of adversity and challenge in not having a home field. Our entire season, we had to figure out how to work together and win all of our away games if we wanted to achieve the high expectations of returning to the NCAA tournament. We were all highly motivated, a cohesive, truly team that really had each other's backs, I think was the most important part that set us apart from other teams in previous years. She helped lead those teams to some conference tournaments and NCAA appearances and set the stage for the accolades that she received while she was here. And we actually just recently were having a conversation with our team about kind of the history of the program and what our values are and, and where we're going with everything and what it's meant to be part of our program and how we've had so many people that have come through that are decorated, that have so much success, that have led this program you know, in the right direction and, and how we want to mirror that. Oh, and goal, goal, Huskies. Great effort by Poland. Don't underestimate the women's field hockey. You know, we produce a lot of great athletes, and to just add another field hockey player into the Northeastern Athletic Hall of Fame is a really proud moment for our program. And I hope it continues, and, and I really hope that more girls come up and, and are inducted as well. I'm excited to see the future.
We're looking to bring her back um, to have you know a conversation with the team, and I think it's it's good for them to hear it. I think sometimes we get set on a forward motion and, and to go go forward and straight ahead, and we forget what happened before us. And and it's always good to have a good reminder of what that is. To have 78 goals on a career is is unbelievable, and I'd love for somebody to try to strive to beat that, you know, and what that would look like for our program now and, and moving forward.